like to talk about preparing for an exam when time is short. And of course, time is always short when you're preparing for an exam. Um, what I have to say, I think, is some good generic advice, um, but also having a little bit of humor can can take the, the stress off. So the thing is, is sometimes we get into uh, bad behaviors when things are scarce, and we might do illogical behaviors when things are scarce. And... Um, One of these things that, that happens um, is when things are scarce, we act in, in weird ways. And we all do this. And sometimes, you know, it's like a, people will tell you, well, when you're stuck in a hole, stop digging. Well, that's easy to say when you're comfortably out of the hole and judging somebody in the hole. But when you're in the hole and digging, you're focusing on digging. And maybe if I can just dig this hole a little bit deeper, everything will be okay. Right? It's it's not going to be okay. We have to change our behavior. But um, let's just all recognize that, you know, when it's happening to you, uh, it can be hard to change your behaviors. And even though I'm going to be giving you advice, um, or I think at least from a comfortable position, I do have deadlines that I have to, to deal with as well. And in karate, there's things I have to, to do, or I want to do them. It's a hobby, but when we do a, a form in front of a judge, we have to prepare, and I'm not that good, right? So I have to prepare months and ahead of time to do some of these things. Um, of course, that kind of advice start early, isn't going to do you much good right now when we've got about eight days before the final. But I think this advice is timely, and if you follow it, I think you can do well in 110 or on any exam. So some of it is generic. All right, so let's just say, you know, generic advice. And I think probably the best thing you can do is, um, again, you know, using the digging the hole rather than just studying without a plan, make a schedule of what you have to do, right? So if there's 10 problems on an exam, just take those 10 problems and try to break up the studying into a day-by-day -day thing until you get it. But you might say, I don't have time to make a plan. That's just wasting my time. Uh, I'm so behind. But the thing is, is if you just take 30 minutes to come up with a rough schedule, you might actually find that you do have enough time and then you won't be so panicked, right? And we've all been there, right? I'm speaking from personal experience. Is that panic is a killer, or from Dune, right? Fear is the mind killer, right? Well, panic is the grade killer, right? Um, and so you might, if you put it down on a piece of paper or Google Docs, my favorite thing, Right? You might find that you do have enough time. It is possible to, to get things done. But I caution you to you know, be realistic. I'm going to spend 23 hours a day studying. Right? Well, again, this example is eight, exam is eight days away. That's, that's not going to work. Right? Make sure you allocate you know, your plan for sleeping, eating exercises, and sleeping. I even put sleeping twice. I guess I'm really tired. Now, yeah, um, this kind of plan should have been done at the beginning of the semester, but I failed to do it many times in my life. And so, you know, there's no, no harm in um, making a mistake. However, you know, maybe next semester you can follow this advice uh, earlier on. But anyway, but the thing is, is um, you also now, is, again, with eight days out, if, if there's a way to uh, reduce your workload or reduce your family obligations that I know we all have, and some things are non-negotiable, right? Um, but if you can minimize them or ask your family for help, um, but usually people don't say, do you have enough time to do something? 
here, let me give you some time off so that you can study. You have to have the self-worth to ask for it, okay? You are worth it. This is your career, right? And the sooner you learn it, the better we'll all be, right? And, you know, sometimes family just doesn't get what we go through as engineers, right? We all feel that way, okay? So then in this study schedule, and again, uh, you know, finding a piece of software and learning it to do a study schedule, no, that's, that's not worth your time. Just like a whiteboard or a piece of paper, just something simple, right, that, you know, that you can modify, right? And also, your plan won't be perfect when you start it, right? It could just be day one, question one and two, but you don't have any details in it. That's okay. And then something else is as you're going along, if let's say you're on day three working on topic three, and it's like that, it turns out like you're an expert on that, well, review it and move on, right? Sometimes we keep doing the same thing um, because we're good at it. And when uh, I learn a karate form, right, they typically, you know, they can have 18 moves, right? And what can happen is, once you learn all 18 moves in sequence, right, a lot of times people just keep doing the whole 18 moves again and again and again, and the things they're good at, they get better, and the things they weren't so good at, well, they kind of improve, but it's kind of on the good part, you're doing, you know, you're whipping things around, and it's great, and then you slow down for the difficult part, and then you speed up. And I did this even in piano lessons, like in the part of the song I liked, oh, it's all perfect. The part of the song I didn't like, it slows down, I stumble. You have to break it up and work on the bit you're having trouble with. And the thing is, is once you're competent in everything, well, it'll all become your, your favorite part, right? So what are some study activities? This is not an exclusive list. But, you know, reading the book, reading notes, and watching videos, and asking the professor for clarification. I want to say, watch, watch those videos, right, kind of as a last resort. And I know I'm making a video now, but that's only so you can listen to it in the car or, or something like that, right? Um, you can't learn the material just by watching the video over and over again, Okay. But um, by now, you should be looking at your notes or old homework solutions or old exam solutions because um, it's, it's targeted, all right? Now then, preparation activities, creating that study sheet, right? Um, just by organizing that information into a study sheet is a form of study, right? And then, you know, you're trying to assemble things, right? So... But then the actual learning, right, and again, I put creating a study sheet, sheet here twice, right, do problems, right? You can first do the problem in a manner like it's a homework where you're learning it. Let's say you've kind of, you, you learned, you knew it at once, but you kind of forgot it or need to review. But then here's the thing. Then you got to do a problem as if it's on an exam. And by now, you know how I grade. Right. And, um, you know, give yourself a finite amount of time, check your answer and concentrate on the problems you're not getting. Notice I've said that twice. And then, you know, you can create your own set of problems. You know, you think like a professor. Right. If you start to think like me, you start to see the world in Fourier transforms and Laplace step functions and linear systems even though the world is not linear right it can be approximated to be linear right now even if you were doing an essay right that's not a problem just write sample essays even if you guess the wrong incorrectly what the professor was going to ask chances are it's going to be similar and you'll just you know You'll be more prepared during the exam and less prone to those kind of weird panic, sleep-deprived mistakes we've all made in our lives. And yeah, meet with friends to really study, not just to socialize, but in that time, challenge each other's logic and answers, right? 
I'll say it again. Eat, exercise, and sleep properly. Do your breathing. There's a link here. Deep breathing. All right. Um, so that's like kind of it in g general, right? That'd be good for anybody. Um, even a GE course where a lot of things are done with essays, right? Or if you were had to memorize definitions, you know, do study cards and things that you, I'm sure you already know. All right. EE 110. There are 10 questions. So try to do one topic per day. Of course, we can't do this right today because there's really only eight study days left, which should be plenty of time, right? Take a deep breath. It's all going to be okay. But again, the whole point of this was time is short. So what do you concentrate on? Concentrate on midterm one and midterm two, especially if you didn't pass the first time around. Because like getting 100% on question one will count for the final exam. And if you didn't get 100% on question one in the midterm, well, then it counts there too. So it, it's two for the price of one, right? Um, also, those two topics, that's where the new things really were, right? And so this final part is really just the application of everything we've already learned or we're tying it together somehow, all right? Now, uh, final exam topics. So I have some a study guide here, which is, yeah, I put it on the last day of the semester in, uh, in these notes. But in a way, it's really, I shouldn't put it there at all, right? I should put it up here in module 24, which I did today. It wasn't there before. So the thing is, is right after midterm two, Right, that's when we start studying for the final exam. Okay, and I apologize, I should have thought of that sooner, but I didn't. So anyway, back to here. So these are the types of questions. I have notes, I have worked out examples, although the questions might not be in the same order. Okay, but basically I went and looked at the final exam Question one, find the convolution of two signals and plot the resulting function. Two, create an asymptotic Bode plot. It will be second order. There's a video. Question three, all right, you've all seen my icon, right, when I am in Zoom, but just you doing the Bode uh, transfer function, Bode plot, transient step equation, and plot the transient step for some first order op amp based circuit, okay? And yeah, the op amp is considered to be ideal on question three, but it'll be things like high pass, low pass, and an integrator. Um, question four, DF2 circuit, it'll some random fourth order transfer function. And I've designed it so every problem is, uh, regardless of which one you get, it, they're all the same level of difficulty. Question five is identify things with an out of control system and fix them with the simplest feedback network and then find those conditions. All right. Uh, six, spring mass damper to RLC. Uh, seven, a gain bandwidth type problem. There's that famous video, right? Please watch it if you didn't. Right now, there's only 24 views. Um, based on the midterm results, yeah, I probably should have had 50 views of that video, all right? And then for the final part, system ID from a Bode plot, system ID from a transient, and then some kind of application problem, right, uh, that I kind of make up at the last minute, all right? Now here's like a sample plan, and it could be one to two hours, right? So 15 minutes gathering and summarizing all your notes, then do 20 minutes doing a problem, right? And like a review or like it's homework, you can look things up, spend time. I mean, the exam is open book, open note, but you don't really have time to research anything. You've got to have all that information there, right? Then do a problem and uh, give yourself 13 minutes to do it, right? 
if you can't finish in 13, we'll go back to, you know, doing it as a review. But basically, you've got to get to the point where you can do a problem in the time and be successful at it, right? Now, here's the thing. If you finish, if you finish early, great. Well, then you can take a break. You can go on. You do things, right? Um, bonus time, make up your own questions. Now, yeah, there might be a finite amount of questions. So you just kind of alternate back and forth, right? Um, just make sure that on the final exam, you just don't spit out what you accidentally memorized by following this technique, okay? So here's the plan, right? This, this is today, the 29th of November, 2021. Day one, we'll start it tomorrow. Do question one and two, then three and four. Right, and the reason why to, to hit it harder earlier is so that it stays with you longer, right? And then one question a day until the final. Now, yeah, if you've elected to take the final on the makeup day, well, you get an ex eight extra days. Now, do not wait until whatever December seventh to start studying for your exam on the fifteenth, right? Spread it out. Right. You can do one question a day and then actually kind of repeat it. Right. You could almost get each question done twice uh, before that time. But. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I maybe I've talked a little bit too much here, but. Um, you know, you can. With the time available now, you can do well on the EE 110 exam, okay? It's totally worth your while to study. And you might feel that you're so far behind that it's just not worth it. Concentrate on your other courses. But if you're, you know, whatever you learn now will be much easier to remember next semester, all right? Sorry to be kind of a downer telling you about not passing, but... Um, I know it's on people's minds, all right? There's no reason to not give it a good effort um, and do well, all right? I know you can do it. All right, I see you later.